Don't look at my lips, they're very stained. Maxim in the new Locked Kissing Liquid Lipstick. And in this video, I'm going to put on every single one for you so you can see what it looks like. And I'll tell you which ones are my favorite. If you love makeup, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to see what all the Locked Kissings look like, please keep on watching. Okay, let's start with the nudes. And I've tried all of these on already. I'm gonna start with my favorite one, my poor, my poor lip. It's gonna go, this is Mischief. And it's, I don't normally like colors like these. Like I don't wear them. Love it. It's like hot girl, hot girl neutral pink. The thing that you need to remember is it takes a full two minutes to dry down. If you don't let it dry down the full two minutes, you're not going to get the correct long wear from it. It's so cute. Next is Bodacious, which I enjoy as well. It's just a little too peachy for me. You can get quite a bit of product out of one little dip. There's a lot more peachy pink, where Mischief was like a cooler pink. I feel like if you like Velvet Teddy, you'll like this color. Next is Teaser. I really enjoy this one. Another thing as well is you can't have anything on your lips. So no primer, no lip liner, no lip balm, no Vaseline, nothing. Zero naked, please. It has to sit on a bare lip in order for it to get the wear claims that it has. Yeah, this is a very pretty color. It's very like yellowy, yellowy nude. It's not, it doesn't actually pull to peach in person and it doesn't go pink. I want this but like a couple shades lighter. Next is mullet over and over, which on me is just straight, straight peach. I don't lean towards these at all. Last in the kind of nude lineup is Posh. I love this one. If you remember Choco Tees, uh, Retro Matte Liquid, I love that color. So this is the closest thing for me. The darker colors, need a little bit of extra oh, I love this extra product and the wand is shaped so that you can line the mouth as well so you don't necessarily need lip liner with it some shades dry down a little darker or they'll dry darker than they actually look in the container but they're pretty much spot on to what you see I love this one especially because I have like no makeup on I just have a bit of skin nothing on my eyes Want to know what's popular? It's Mischief and Bodacious. Those are the it colors. Next test group, we have the reds and the oranges. I already know which ones I like. Brazen and Gutsy. But I like Brazen the most. So this is Gutsy, which if you like Lady Danger, this is going to be for you. And the nice thing about these, if you're used to any liquid lipstick, especially Retro Matte, which has been around for a while, they have like that traditional liquid lipstick feel where it's a little bit heavier um, and like thicker. Oh, this looks good. Normally, again, I don't, I don't lean towards colors like these. Like Lady Danger, out of all of the reds, is not a color I ever reach for. But today, maybe it's because I don't have a lot of makeup on. It looks really good. So we have Brazen, which is like a burnt, a burnt orange. Oh, that's what I was saying. So this is a more like lightweight, modernized liquid lipstick formula. And there's passion fruit oil and something else in the pigment so that the pigment's double coated. So you get more impact right away. And then it has that passion fruit oil in it. So it's gonna still feel hydrating on the lip. And people are confusing something from being glossy and being hydrating. There's a difference between wearing a matte lipstick that's dry and your lip is uncomfortable and wearing a matte that's a little bit more lightweight and flexible and airy. I love, I love these colors on me. Next up is Extra Chili, which actually grew on me a bit. I 
everything else going on me today? Why is that? This is a little bit more red than regular chili, I find, but it still looks really good. I feel like I would pick this before I pick up Russian red if I was looking for a deeper kind of red tone. Next, we have Ruby True, which I actually haven't tried on, so this is my first time. Um, obviously, it's based off of Ruby Woo, which is your blue-based bright cherry red. If you didn't know this, Ruby Woo comes in every formula now. And my favorite is the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick version of it. Ruby New, I think. It's so sexy. I look great. So if you like Ruby Woo lipstick and you're like, it's way too matte and too dry, this is the polar opposite feel of that while still being matte. The texture is like undetectable on the lip. Oh my God, with these nails. Oh yeah, my nails are new, by the way. Mm. I haven't tried this one on yet either. This is Gossip. This is the most popular one out of the red tones. And it's a lot pinkier. So if you like... Uh, MAC Red Lipstick. This is the one you'll enjoy. That's really cute. I used to wear, when I wanted to get into red lipstick, I started with Ladybug because the MAC girl at the time recommended Spice with Ladybug so it was like an introduction into red lipstick and it was a luster formula so it was really, really sheer. And then I found out that Lady Gaga wore MAC Red and that was it. <laughs> Ladybug, we're done and MAC Red became my whole personality. This is also, if you like Dance With Me, retro matte, but it's too much for you, you could do this one. My lips are burning. I'm just gonna put down Halo At Me lip balm and just let that sit for a second so I don't cry. Okay, last four, more of like the pinky purples. This one is Most Curious, which I'm assuming is based off Stay Curious. I haven't tried this on yet. Another thing to keep in mind is you have to use oil-based makeup remover to take this off. If you want something to truly stick, you're gonna have a difficult time removing it. So an oil-based makeup remover, oil-based Missler water, that's what has to break down the formula in order for it to come off. Oh, I like that. So I got into Brickthrough with the Velvet Blur Slim Sticks when they came out and I wore that, that must have been like a year ago now. Oh, six months maybe? That became my whole personality too. This is cute. If you like red, but red's too much, I feel like you would like this one. Or you want a pink that has no like blue in it, this would be it. Next we have Decadence. This one is also very popular. I think I tried this on once. It's like, if you like Mare, Captive, Amorous, Twig, those kind of colors, I feel like this is gonna be your jam. When I tried this on TikTok, I was unsure if I actually liked this color or not. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like my personality. It's actually really pretty. Next up we have Vixen, which I really enjoy. I didn't think I would, but I did. Another tip I can give you is when I'm applying it to my lip, I'm letting the applicator kind of float against the product. I'm not trying to push it into my lip. So this won't transfer, it really won't. And there's a difference, even if a lip product was to transfer, there is a difference between your lip product coming off your lip and leaving a mess, like removing off of the surface of your lip and one that creates a little bit of a stain that's left behind. If something transfers, but your lip still is solid, that is a transfer-proof lipstick in my opinion, because your lip still looks the same. If there's all of a sudden a big gap where you were working, different conversation. I love this color on me. Other thing is that inside part of the lip is wet. So something that need, needs to go down on a dry surface, it's not gonna stick to there, it's not supposed to. Um, if you lose a little bit on the inside, it's just, I'm, everything's okay. And lastly, we have sardonic. There's a whole range of colors, including this mustard yellow, that is in different MAC markets in the world. I would die for it. This is the most purpley purple color I own. 
And if you saw the TikTok, it made my eyes so, so green. I like to flip it and use the back end of the wand to do the liner portion. Oh, it's so good. Like, is that not the most beautiful purple color ever? I can't wait for it to try. You don't have to worry about them going anywhere. I've worn these for 16 hours. I've ate with them. I've drank with them. They don't go anywhere. If you were to put a gloss on top, the formula doesn't mix well with a gloss. And in the event that you do, you disrupt the formula. So it's not gonna be as long wearing. You need oil to take it off. It's just not, it's not gonna do it. And then you're gonna scrub at your lips too much. And that's where it becomes uncomfortable. I don't actually wanna take this off because I want to do something else with it. I hope you enjoyed this chaotic swatch party. If you haven't already, subscribe to me here on YouTube. I have a new series called Coffee Time where I talk about topics in the makeup industry that are most of the time pissing me off. Follow me on TikTok for content all day long. I post sometimes up to 11 videos a day over there. And I'm also on Instagram as well, all under the same name, at Miss Megan Robinson. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.